What's up, everybody? This is R2P1 when it comes to intern homes. Uh, this ideally will be a place for our interns to network, connect, and overall just add to their experience during their eight to 13 week blocks with us. This uh, particular property is up in Frederick, very, very close to our Frederick office, only 10 minutes away, and probably about 20 to 25 minutes from Mount Airy. But overall, really looking forward to just having interns have a place where they're interacting with each other, they're coming home after a long day, maybe having some conversations related to what was going on in the clinic, hopefully some as well that are not related uh, and that are more on a personal level as well. But uh, we're really expecting this place to overall just once again, add to the experience uh, of their clinical rotations with Rehab to Reform. Oh, the song. <laughs> yeah, I did. I well, I was out of grocery, so I went to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for you. Favorite food? Ooh, chicken probably. <laughs> that's, that's like my go-to though. Purple, man, purple and gold, ECU. On a deserted island, you can bring three things. What do you bring? Probably like a hatchet, okay. water filter, okay. going major survival modes, okay. and then uh, a ukulele, because I've tried to learn how to play ukulele, but I would have a lot of time, so I would <laughs> I'd figure something out. Oh, I love ECU. Yeah, I've been there for, well, it'll be seven years by the end of it, but yeah, no, so I've been in Greenville for a while, but all the alumni, like any time that you're like, yeah, I'm, I got ECU right now, they're like, oh, yeah. Like, I've made so many, like, friends just because of wearing, like, something with an ECU logo on it. They'll be like, you're a pirate? It's like, yeah. And then it's just an automatic conversation starter. Hi, my name is Dylan Sampson. I'm an intern right now at the Frederick Clinic. I will be going into my eighth and final week here uh, coming up this week. Yeah, uh, I mean, all the PTs at Frederick are awesome. Having all the other interns here too, it's been cool to be able to like kind of bounce off like what we've done in our day or like if there was something interesting with the patient that we had, like stuff that like you hear about when you're in school and you're like, oh yeah, you'll see this one day. And then it's like, oh, like, that's actually something that can happen to somebody. It's like, and then you see it and you start to actually treat it. I mean, similar to most people who are kind of in like the sports realm for PT, I was an athlete growing up like all, like since I could basically walk. I saw myself being able to kind of get into the, the realm of PT and be something I enjoy because I've been around fitness and stuff my whole life. So it's definitely in line with, with all of that. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I cleaned up. I've made the bed Damn. for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I made the bed. I made the bed. I knew it. I knew it was coming. So it's like the all the interns have been put in oh. for where they came from. Oh, that's dope. We got all over. So somebody came all the way from Nevada and Colorado. So, so this is probably the coolest part, I would say, of the house. Yeah, Definitely so keep this up. Uh, I've been trying to get people to put this Four-hour body. What is that? Uh, uh, it's like there's some chapters in it that are a little interesting. I I, I don't want to say it on camera. But what's <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You good? There's not much to the room, for sure. Really, it. It's just a bed, a desk, and my PlayStation. What do you play? Rocket League. Okay. Is probably the game that me and my buddies play the most, but. Oh yeah, right now I've been watching uh, Umbrella Academy, but I'm um, excited because Stranger Things just came out. With, uh, today. The, yeah, today. Every single one. Hey, it's <laughs> tough, man. You come home from work and you're tired and it's like, it's like, ah, it's, it's a shirt on the floor, that's fine. Yours <laughs> is clean. I mean, we've had a couple of patients that like uh, graduated or like are starting to get better. So like getting to see like the end side of treatment, because like my previous experiences, I was at like a like an acute care setting. So like I was seeing people when they were just starting their, their journey with some of this stuff. So like you never got to see that end of like, all right, I'm back to doing what I want to do. So like being able to see a couple of people like graduate and kind of get their shirt and do the thing, yeah. it's been nice. And like everybody's super appreciative. So I would say that those moments are probably the ones that I'll remember the most from, from the experience. Right you leave. Yeah, I know. They're gonna open it right right when I get out. You got this on camera? Yeah. 
Ah, I see. Need a little. It expanded. <laughs> this right here. Yes, I think breakthrough is over there, and then the far left, I want to say it's storage, but don't put someone on the right at the top. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty. Do I take in like school photos? Exactly. Some of the stools will sink down as the time goes, so we'll see. I'm originally from like the High Point, North Carolina area. Uh, I came up to Frederick for my third clinical rotation because uh, when we get assigned like our list of different sites we can go, I kind of did my little research looking at it and found the social media team for sure. They can saw all of, like the, the culture that they had there and just the general way they were going about treating patients and kind of like making sure they were actually challenging them and thought that might be a good spot to kind of learn a little bit. I would, uh, I would definitely say uh, they do a good job here of when, when patients come in kind of where they're at like and meeting them where they're at. So whether they're, even if they are like a higher level patient, like if they come in that day and they have like a little bit of a flare up of their injury or something, being able to adjust on the fly has been something that I definitely have gotten more experienced in here. Cause my, my previous clinical experiences were like in a hospital and then like in, a, in another, like more like inpatient kind of setting. And you kind of know a little bit more of what you're gonna get into when you come in that day. Cause most people are kind of, they, they fluctuate a little bit just because of their conditions. But for this one, it's like, if somebody came in and it's like over the weekend, they ran a larger race or like they did a, a weightlifting competition or something and they come in with more uh, pain than they did last time, you're going to have to switch up the session a little bit. So that pivoting and thinking on your feet is definitely something that I've learned here. Just thank you, Sarah, for all that you've kind of helped me with. I know I was your first student here at R2P, so it's been nice to kind of together kind of learn and kind of figure out the whole process. But uh, you've been very helpful for getting me into uh, more of a mindset of challenging patients and thinking on the fly as we go through it. But everybody else at R2P, thank you again. Everybody's been very nice to me. So I've uh, gotten an opportunity to learn from basically everybody, from Corey to Clark, Chris with concussions. He's been very helpful with that. And then Kelly definitely with golf has been super helpful. But uh, yeah, thank you guys all for all the great experience. Yeah.